We all have our guilty pleasure food. For some people, it's a McDonald's burger and fries. But for some folks, these foods aren't bringing pleasure. What is that? What the f is that? Why is that in the food? Some people are confused. How the heck the green went inside the pie? Tell me how. Many are grossed out. I used to go there, never again. I will never go to this McDonald's. But some say it's not a real issue. McDonald's isn't disgusting just because of nature. You must be by water. It's not McDonald's fault. Yet, at least one person has gotten seriously ill, and McDonald's has fought back. No, gross. End of story. What's really going on here? Let's spill the tea and find out. Whenever we get fast food, we know it's not going to be the most healthy food in the world, but we do expect it to be tasty and made safely. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for a fast food restaurant in London. In late November 2021, TikToker McOld Kent Road posted an eight-second video of a drink machine at a fast food restaurant that appeared to be McDonald's. The video panned across the inside of a soft drink machine and appeared to show some kind of worms crawling around the machine. In the caption, the TikToker identified the worm-like creatures as maggots. Both the original the original video and the TikTok account appeared to be gone from the platform. It's unclear if the TikToker removed the video and deleted their account themselves, or if TikTok removed them. According to the Evening Standard in the UK, the video had been viewed over 400,000 times and had over 260 comments before it was deleted. Many of the commenters were disgusted with the video. I used to go there, never again. I will never go to this McDonald's. One person said they ate at the restaurant every day, and the original TikToker replied, don't. One duet video is still on TikTok, showing the original video alongside a reaction from TikToker Queen Reen the First. This is McDonald's Old Kent Road in South London. Some people were concerned. In the vending machine, guys, maybe give the drinks a miss. Kent say it's not only their store. The store I worked at back in 2014 had worms like crazy under the drink counter. Saw this the other day. I've been ordering for my granddaughter from here, but not anymore. But others were skeptical about the claims. Clearly a broken machine. Hence, why you don't pan out and show that it's actually in McDonald's. Fake. They deleted their entire account. But this isn't the first time this has happened at a McDonald's location. In October 2021, TikToker Karen Lee 377 allegedly found a worm in her soft drink from McDonald's. The video showed pictures of the worm on the soft drink lid with this text on screen. When McDonald's serves you a worm in your Coke, your night is ruined. No one will return my calls. This was not an accident, and someone needs to be held accountable. In the caption, she wrote, McDonald's, this is unacceptable, not professional, and a health violation. She also wrote several comments about the situation. My daughter is very traumatized by this. Someone needs to be held accountable. This is not an accident. We ordered from the drive through Sunday night and halfway home, my daughter began choking and spit out her Coke and found this earthworm. She began to cry and vomit. I called immediately and reported this. Called again Monday morning. No one will call me back. In a different comment, she provided the location where the incident allegedly happened. In May 2021, one TikToker posted a video that allegedly showed worms inside a McDonald's burger. The video also appeared to show mold on the patty. In August 2021, another TikToker posted a video that appeared to show a worm squirming a across the floor of a McDonald's location. In September 2021, a TikToker claimed he had seen a video of a woman eating a McDonald's burger with worms in it, but he could no longer find the video. I was gonna show my buddy this video I seen yesterday on TikTok about McDonald's. My cousin sent it to me. Um, there's like this little worm crawling, or a few of them crawling in this patty. This lady is in San Jose, California. I can't find the video anymore. They took it down. And it was posted, I saw it yesterday, it was posted 19 hours ago. Is this lady concerned about her daughter. She had already been eating it and she noticed it. You could clearly see the worms. And two commenters said they had seen the same video. In April 2021, another TikToker shared her story about finding worms in her McDonald's burger. What is that? What the f is that? Why is that in the food? Is that a worm? Also in April 2021, a TikToker said the McDonald's restaurant he was going to had been in the news a few times for having worms in their drink cups. While the TikToker didn't provide proof of the alleged news reports, it wouldn't have been the first time a McDonald's restaurant had been in the news for unsanitary conditions. In August 2016, at least two people had said they'd found worms in food from McDonald's restaurants in two separate Kentucky communities, according to WPSD-TV. Madison Stevens said 
she ordered food for herself and her one-year-old son at McDonald's. When she was about to take a bite out of her burger, she claimed a live worm fell out. Lacey Jo Lovett said she also found a worm in her burger. She contacted McDonald's customer support, and the company allegedly sent her a $10 gift card. In a statement released to WPSD-TV, Michael Love, the owner and operator of the two McDonald's locations, said the company was investigating the claims and would take all appropriate measures to resolve the matter. The day after WPSD-TV reported the story, Love said he was unable to confirm the worm allegations. He also said health inspectors did not find any of the problems raised by the customers. In January 2017, a Michigan woman filed a complaint with the USDA and the Wayne County Health Department when she allegedly found something disgusting in her McDonald's food. It was gross, and it was a parasite of some sort. Jerrica Clace said she knew something was wrong as soon as she took the first bite. Go back with the next bite and see something hanging out of the fish sandwich, which to me looked like a little worm. Jerrica took the sandwich back to the restaurant, where management offered her a refund and a new sandwich. She declined. In a statement to Fox 47 News, Grenader Family Restaurants said, Food safety and quality are a top priority in our restaurants. A complaint was received by the Wayne County Department of Health on January 3rd. That same day, the department conducted a thorough inspection at the restaurant and found no violations relating to the complaint. In October 2015, IT freelancer Jasper Lee claimed he found worms in his meal from a McDonald's restaurant in Singapore. He was eating a big breakfast combo, which consists of a sausage patty, scrambled eggs, toasted muffins, and hash browns. Jasper described what happened when he started eating the meal. I had already eaten a few mouthfuls when I spotted something moving, and it turned out to be worms. It came as a shock to me. I've eaten that same meal many times, and this is my first time encountering something like this. I totally lost my appetite after that. He sent a video to the Straits Times that appeared to show worms wiggling around the food. Patricia Young, McDonald's Singapore's Director of Operations, said the company was in touch with Jasper and was investigating what happened. Let me emphasize that food quality and safety are our top priority, and we take all customer feedback very seriously. At the moment, we are doing everything we can to establish the facts of the matter. According to the Straits Times, McDonald's staff collected the remaining food from Jasper's home and was sent to the lab for testing. And in May 2021, a video that appeared to show live worms in a McDonald's chicken burger from North China went viral. In the video, the customer said, My children finished two hamburgers this morning. I did not notice any bugs, but when my children started to eat the other two hamburgers in the afternoon, I found many live bugs climbing on the burger buns. On the company's official Sina Weibo account, McDonald's said hamburgers are normally fried or baked at high temperatures, meaning eggs would not normally be found in the food. While some of the allegations appear to be credible, there are others that may not be as valid. One woman tried to cancel the fast food chain after being surprised by the contents of her chicken sandwich. McDonald's is canceled. 99.9% .9 oh. sure this is a f***ing war. Check your <laughs> before. Her caption claimed she was done with the restaurant. Never eating here again. People were skeptical about the chicken burger's mysterious contents. Onion. Bestie, that's lettuce. It's a union. Others didn't seem to care if the sandwich was tainted. Still bussin' though. Protein, bruh. One person thought the woman was lying. I still like McDonald's and I won't check my food because I don't need to because the creator of this video is lying. That's not true. Another woman was alarmed to find a creepy crawly in her McDonald's apple pie. Um, I purchased two apple pies and I was about to take a bite out of one when I noticed that I had a live caterpillar inside of it. Um, not only was there a live caterpillar and droppings, uh, as you can see those black dots there look like uh, caterpillar droppings. It turns out, um, and it was confirmed by a manager um, of the actual McDonald's location, that this apple pie was for sure not baked. Um, so not only did I get a caterpillar, I got a raw apple pie. Um, I just think this is gross. Some people were skeptical that the situation was real. So the manager saw it and didn't take it from you? Whenever you return food, they always take it back and replace it. That's f bullshit, liar. Others made jokes about the situation. Pie and a free pet, that's a W in my book. Aw, the caterpillar never turned into a butterfly. As my dad would say, chew it up good, it's good for the waistline, lol. One person asked a good question. 
How the heck the green went inside the pie? Tell me how. How caterpillar shows up in McDonald's? While we can't say for sure how this caterpillar got in the pie, as this TikToker shows, with drive through windows, it's easy for bugs to get in. McDonald's, McDonald's. disgusting. Sick as f How many you think of those are in the deep fryer? I bet a lot. Some were quick to defend the restaurant. Those are called mayflies. They're very common, and they aren't pests like bedbugs or cockroaches. McDonald's isn't disgusting just because of nature. You must be by water. It's not McDonald's fault. We have those in Michigan at certain times of the year. Others were disturbed by the insect's presence. Don't go to this McDonald's because this McDonald's has a bit of a bug problem. I'm love McDonald's is good, but why are disgusting? One person even bragged about their home McDonald's. My McDonald's us cleaner. However, not all McDonald's are as clean as some may think. When we think about food issues, we often focus on things like burgers or fries and not really on another big culprit for unsanitary stations, the drink machines. One woman showed off just how gross the drink machines can get if not properly cleaned. She wiped one of the drink nozzles with a napkin and showed the residue. She then approached an employee to let them know. Are you the manager? One of them. This is coming out of your faucet. Out of where? The Powerade. I just ahead, wiped it out of there, which I was trying to get that actual film up. I will not here. be drinking that. The manager promised to have the drink dispensers pulled and cleaned properly that evening. The woman went back to the same location the next day. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Are you serious? They're all like this. I hope they even don't like that. She showed the mess to another customer to get his reaction. Ugh. Give that to your lawyer. The woman went back a third day to check the dispensers again. She took a napkin and rubbed it along the inside of the nozzles. I see that she lied. She found mold inside another nozzle. They promised me that they were going to clean these, and I can tell that they didn't. She continued to wipe the nozzles with napkins, revealing more mold. This is the one I wiped yesterday. Look, nothing. Just clean. Are you kidding me? The woman announced her discovery to other customers. I wouldn't drink out of those, you guys. They're molded. Those things, the spouts, I came in here last night and they were all molded and I was promised that they was going to clean them and I just got that out of that, out of all those. So, just so you guys know. She found an employee and complained again. And I come here about every day for my kids okay. and that's disgusting and they continue to let people drink out of them. Yeah. And that's ridiculous. We have a lobby person who's supposed to be cleaning it. They have not been cleaning yeah. it. I was here yeah. last night and she promised me that they would pull them and clean them. Okay, I can do that right and now. And I came out, came up here today. I can clean them right now. To make sure that they were clean for everyone and they're still not clean. After talking to the employee, the woman waited around until someone came to clean the machines. Thank you. According to someone claiming to work for McDonald's, the soda machine hands are dissembled lightly to be soaked as a method of cleaning them. Not soaking the nozzles properly or at all could be why there have been reports of people finding mold in their drinks. So this is how you get your lemonade from McDonald's in Smithfield, Rhode Island with that's in the ice. That's called dirty ice. Dirty ice. Mold isn't the only thing to worry about when it comes to cleanliness at restaurants. On November 18th, 2021, a video was tweeted out of maggots that had fallen from the ceiling at a McDonald's in Beckton, England. This guy's trying to stop me from taking pictures. Oh my God. All over the floor. Everywhere. And they're moving. Yeah, they're alive. You know, two of them here, they came from the roof. Just the ladies, he dropped on the ladies' food. Quite nice. I'm gonna oh get a refund on this. Uh, this is McDonald's in Beckton with maggots lying around. They're all over the floor.
McDonald's apologized for the incident and the store was closed immediately for cleaning and remained shut the next day. A McDonald's spokesperson spoke out about the situation. Unfortunately, an incident occurred on Thursday morning at our restaurant in Beckton and we would like to apologize to any customers who were impacted. The restaurant was immediately closed and a thorough investigation found the root cause, which has now been resolved. With all the news surrounding alleged worms in McDonald's food, people are understandably concerned about their own food. Some folks are checking their burgers to ensure there are no worms or maggots like this TikToker. Others think different McDonald's foods could be contaminated. For example, this TikToker was concerned their ice cubes could have worms in them. In the caption, the TikToker wrote, I swear the ice cubes don't always have these in them at the clown restaurant. But what happened at the McDonald's on Old Kent Road in London? In a statement to My London, a McDonald's spokesperson said, We take cleanliness and hygiene extremely seriously. Unfortunately, a number of weeks ago, we were made aware of an issue in the drain serving the drink station at our Old Kent Road restaurant. We immediately closed the drink station and our hygiene team identified the cause of the issue, which was fixed before a deep clean was carried out. The area was inspected by external specialists and no drinks were served to customers until we were sure that the issue was fully resolved. It's also worth noting that while the original TikToker claimed the creatures were maggots, the McDonald's spokesperson said the creatures were earthworms. As well, the spokesperson said it was an isolated incident and not a widespread infestation. While this specific incident may be isolated, this seems to have been an issue as early as 2014. Around October 2014, McDonald's ran a campaign dedicated to correcting misconceptions about the company's food. In a response to the question, does McDonald's beef contain worms, the company said, no, gross, end of story. However, the photos surfacing now with worms appearing to be in the meat seem to tell a different story, at least for some customers at some locations. But how do the worms get there in the first place? And why is this a problem at multiple locations? The answer is unclear and there is no definitive solution, but here are some possible contributing factors. According to the National Association of Conservation Districts, worms eat decaying roots, leaves, animal manure, bacteria, fungi, and decomposing remains of other animals, meaning it's possible they could be attracted to the restaurants if there's decaying food or bacteria in areas worms can access. However, worms are relatively common in fish, and one of McDonald's most popular items is the filet fish sandwich. If fish isn't properly prepared, it can carry parasitic roundworms or nematodes. It's possible the worms could have come from the fish sandwich, but we're unable to prove if that's what happened at the restaurants we discussed earlier in the video. It's also unclear if the worms can travel from the fish to beef or chicken products. There is another possibility, overstock in restaurants. In January 2021, a person ate McDonald's chicken nuggets and found what appeared to be a maggot. The man was clearly disgusted and eventually went to the emergency room after he started to feel unwell. He showed a clip of his hospital bills, which reveal he was diagnosed with abdominal pain and food poisoning. The man later said he believed the issue was due to overstock at restaurants. I think the problem is COVID. I think they have such a huge stockpile of food uh, that they don't know what's bad and what's not bad, you know? They, they just must have just warehouses just full and full of food because, well, McDonald's is not selling like it used to. However, like with the other theories presented, it's impossible to prove if this is true. The company does have warehouses, but it's unclear if the warehouses are storing expired food. Overall, it's not clear how the worms or maggots got into the food. It seems to be a case-by-case -case issue and not necessarily something widespread, so you're probably safe to get your Big Mac fix. If you are concerned about worms in your food, you can break open your food and check it for worms before eating. And if you do feel sick, seek medical attention and document what was in your food and the medical help you received. Then, report the incident to the restaurant and the corporate office to ensure the restaurant maintains health and safety standards. What do you think about this story? Let me know in the comments below.